Welcome to another edition of Lazing is Amazing with Dr. Glenn Vanessa. Today we're going to look at two topics, namely the removal of a fractured Emax crown that you see here, and subsequently laser troughing done with the I+. Much has been written with the uh, topic of using erbium lasers to remove veneers. I've written uh, topics about this in the journal Cosmetic Dentistry and other journals, but not much has been written about fractured Emax crowns in the posterior like this. We're using the I plus laser uh, here with, with the patient using an isolite at 6 watts and 30 hertz. 90% water, 80% air, and an MZ tip in H mode. The tip is carried just out of contact and slowly moved over the remaining porcelain surface, interacting by transmitting through the porcelain with the silane bond and weakening that bond. This allows you to remove the uh, fractured portion of the crown by mechanical means. After roughly 45 seconds, the laser is stopped and the cable coronaflex is brought over. This uh, instrument has a small tip that when uh, is placed onto the fractured surface is literally able to pop off the remaining uh, bonded, resin, bonded uh, crown. You can see here in one easy stroke we're able to get off the fractured portion, be able to send it back to the lab so they can reuse it for a shade selection and then fabricating the new crown. You can see here the interior surface of the fractured portion and flipped over the outer surface, the porcelain surface. At this point we need to do some laser chopping, so we're again using the I plus tip, the same tip, this time 2.5 watts, 50 hertz, and with 60% water, 40% air, but in S mode. Slow movement of the handpiece allows us to circumferentially navigate around the preparation, creating a very tiny moat space for the VPS material the vinyl polysiloxin to flow into. Because of the S mode and the long pulse duration, you can see the lack of bleeding that occurs as you're moving the laser around. Be careful not to touch the two structure because again, this particular laser is not selected for soft tissue only, and if you're not careful, you could damage the margin itself. As you come around the distal surface to the lingual surface, you, uh, you can see very clearly the uh, nice details of the margin that are brought out by using the laser profit. At this point, we bring over the vinyl polysiloxane material, both the light body and putty, and take an impression of the final uh, laser trough crown. Here's the VPS impression material. Provision is in place, and the patient is dismissed coming back in two weeks. The insertion of a full contour or cone crown. Note the healing when you remove the provisional tubes there, both at low magnification and as we increase the magnification, how clear it is. The tissue is here beautifully. The patient had no post op discomfort, and you can see the full contour is the crown. It's a lot stronger than the Emax that has been cemented in place. I want to thank you for watching, and remember to keep raising. It's amazing.